Hello everybody and welcome back to Court Farms where today we're going to be doing our irrigating but first of all I just want to give this tractor a well deserved pressure wash. It is pretty dirty, it's uh, in dire need of this so let's just clean it up a bit first and then it is pretty much going to be sat at the side of the field with the irrigator. The Matty Ferguson is going to pull the hose across the field and then the hose works itself back so it's not going to be doing any any cultivating or anything, I think it'll look good cleaner. So we're now going to head up to the store to buy the irrigator. We also need to pick up the drawbar, we need the Massey Ferguson for that. I've got the engine running, just warming the tractor up. Got to get the engine oil nice and warm before we use this one. It's an old tractor. So this is going to be on the follow me, we'll take it up there and this can have the drawbar on the back, hmm, lucky I looked. It does not want the weight. We'll put the drawbar on the back. The drawbar is usually very hard to see when you first buy it. And th this can actually pull the irrigator itself. So let's head up there now. So as I said in yesterday's episode, I'm definitely more confident about using the irrigator now, as I've used it before. Uh, so hopefully things will go quite well today. We just need to set it up. It's mainly setting up, which is quite a slow job, but once it's going, it pretty much looks after itself. Now you're probably thinking, if you've looked at the top right hand corner of the screen, you're probably thinking, how come you're back at £25,000 when in yesterday's episode, you were minus 500. Well, there is a genuine answer to this, um, and that is basically because we actually had to restart in a way this map because I changed the map to the latest version. Um, it actually rewrote a lot of the things, including the loan. We had 200 thousand pounds on the loan, and that was wiped to 100 thousand, which means we still have 100 thousand to go at which is actually really good news because it's going to help us in the long run. So that is the reason why we've got more money. I've extended our loan to be able to afford these. So the Optima 1026 is what I'm going to go for. The Optima 1036 is a bit unnecessary for what we need. So we'll go for the £20,000 one. The Hydrant we'll need at the field, so not yet. And we need the uh, drawbar. The drawbar is for the Matthew Ferguson. It's always very hard to see, so we're going to have to go on a bit of a hunt. It's on the floor somewhere. Let's just keep looking around for it. It's around. Hmm. Where is it? Don't know. Don't know where it went, so I just bought another one. But you can see how hidden that is. Uh, so the case is going to pull the irrigator. And the MF is going to just have the drawbar, because that's going to pull the dolly across the field. Don't know the technical word for it. So let's get this attached, let's line up properly in the first place, that will probably help. Get that on the back there. And yes, to lift this off the road, because before I actually took this down the road with the skid on the floor, which looked ridiculous. I have now done my research and I know how to do this. If you press J, it lifts this up, if you press N, it puts it down again. But you actually have to lock the dolly onto the frame. So you press numpad 7 to do this. So if I press num7, you can see it's now lifted up. If we then press j, it will lift it totally into the air. And it should totally clear the road. There we go. So that is now in transport mode. I'll just reverse this out of the way so the Massey Ferguson can attach to the drawbar. We'll mine the transit van. So yeah, I'm going to put this onto the drawbar and get that all attached. It's usually quite hard to actually find the trigger on this thing. I've struggled before. You've just got to keep going backwards and forwards and eventually it'll pick it up. Probably have to go to it from a different angle. You can pick it up from one side. There we go. So it's now on the back of the tractor. We can now head over to our field and get things set up. So we're in the case and we've got the Massey Ferguson following us. Let's get the beacons on and let's turn right out of here. 
unusual that there's no traffic at all. Makes it easier because then it means Massey Ferguson can pull out without any trouble. Can't see it though in the mirrors, which is a bit of a pain. I can hear it though. It has a considerably loud, louder engine than this tractor, with it being old. So, let's go down to the field. Just come out of cab view for a second, just to make sure. Yeah, there it is, good. And really hoping this field is going to be on the first or second growth stage, because if it's fully grown, that would just be a joke already, because it's only been one night. I've got the growth speed on slow for that exact reason. So it should just be should just be sprouting. It should just be coming through. That's the plan. Because I really do not want a fully grown field before I've even irrigated it. And I should be able to sit from here. You're looking good. Just a few leaves. Now, I mustn't forget, when we get to the field, I need to buy the hydrants because we need to fill this up. The hydrant needs to be as close as possible to the irrigator. Um, in real life, I think you would tend to pump out of a river or a local water source. But in Farming Simulator, I think... I don't know if you can pump out of a river. You might be able to. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I've only ever done it with the hydrant. Because that is what is included in the mod pack. Now I think probably in between these two fields is the best place to position the hydrant. And the hydrant is 5,000... 500 pounds, so we're going to have a very impressive 49 pounds remaining once this is bought. 47 pounds remaining. So this is going to have to be filled up, and this is also going to cost money, which is actually going to put us into negative numbers. Please don't crash into me, Massey Ferguson. Right, so we're in negative numbers again, doesn't matter. We're obviously going to be selling a load of grain next time, and also we've got all this to harvest, which will be really fun, because we'll have it on a worker. So the plan now is to put this on the primary grass strip which we planted. Uh, obviously we need to reverse into there, try not to crush too many potatoes. And then uh, try and straighten up, and I think about there should be okay. So the next job is to lower this part by pressing N on the keyboard and then by removing that you press numpad 7. So we can now go over to the Matthew Ferguson and we can use the drawbar to pick up this dolly or this drag and we can drag it all the way to the other end if it will let us and we can begin to do some irrigating. I think this is a very suitable tractor for the job because it's not very big, you don't need a very big tractor for this, it's also two wheel drive, uh, no reason why you need four wheel drive to do this, and also it's got a fairly short wheelbase. So all we have to do now is reverse it to I just put the info panel on because it might be quite helpful. And I've set the uh, speedometer right down to three miles per hour. That is the maximum speed we want to be going. We do not want to be going fast at all to do this. If we do, it's just going to cause a massive momentum problem because obviously as we're pulling this, it's unravelling the reel. That's picking up momentum and if we just suddenly stop, there's no brakes on that thing I don't think and it's just going to keep going and going and going until this thing ends up in Sandy Bay. So. We're going to have to just go really slowly, and this is just the most realistic way of doing it. So, patience is key. Now when we drop this, it should start going backwards again, because it's rolling itself back in. I'm going to have to be quick, because I need to make sure it's switched on. I, I don't know the exact... I probably should have turned it on now, because it probably won't start actually spraying until we drop it. But... As a, I'm not totally experienced with this mod, I'm just going to play it safe, take it to the end, drop it, and then turn it on. We'll also be able to move the tractor out of the way properly now, because we've actually put the grass strip in, so we won't be trampling on all of the crops. It's a long way. The good thing is it rolls itself back in again. We don't have to worry about that. 
but I have to say this is just a brilliant tractor for the job this is why we have it just fantastic for yard work I think it's even in this modern day it's always handy just to have one old tractor just for odd jobs so that's why we're keeping it we're getting there very slowly right we must be almost there we are we don't have to go to the end we don't have to go to the end because it's obviously going to spray so we'll stop it there common mistake to make which is what I just made but luckily I got away with it is to detach it by pressing Q don't press Q press numpad 7 otherwise you drop the drawbar off and it just dangles there so it's not pulling back yet which is good news oh shame we didn't do the grass at the end that was a mistake we will just park this over here so it doesn't get totally showered I suppose it would be a good wash we'll turn it off and we'll go over to the case right then so here we are in the case what we want to do is unfold the legs probably should have done that first of all but at least now it won't pull itself backwards and now we can switch it on I think providing the spray width is good yeah 70 meters is what we're going to do it's so far away you can barely see it but let's get that switched on right that should go that should disappear that error so we need to go back to the master focus and just make sure it's rolling back at a good speed if it's too fast we need to change it it's looking good and oh look at that it doesn't actually reach that far I thought it would do but not to worry we'll be able to sort that uh, is it moving no it's not so let's just get it going now we can get it rolling okay then so we've got it going what you do is you go up to it and you press keypad 4 and that actually increases the speed you can actually get it going really fast but that is mainly I think if you want to just just wind it all in so probably at the moment that speed or maybe just a little faster that should be okay it looks fast but actually that isn't moving too fast so if we have any issues we'll slow it down but that should be perfectly good enough and to stop this you have to press keypad 8 numpad 8 to do that so without getting covered in water let's try and go over to it it should be going backwards yep this mod is just fantastic just one thing the wheels don't roll but I'm sure that is probably quite hard to model actually because this isn't a drivable vehicle don't even know how you do that and it kind of looks 3D actually the way we've done this having that grass there you can see the ridge this is the way to do it this is definitely the way to do your potatoes uh, I actually really enjoy doing potatoes just because of this mod because you can now irrigate them before wasn't really too keen because you'd have to do it with a fertilizer spreader and a sprayer but this just to me is a lot more realistic so really all we have to do is wait for this to go all the way across back down the field and then once it's wound in we can lift this dolly back up again this this drag back up onto the irrigator and move on to the next grass strip which is just over there but we can't go too fast because if we go too fast it won't be able to go 180 degrees and it'll miss bits so this is the optimum speed I think what we can do is take the Master Ferguson back down that end because we don't have to pull this back it's going to take itself back but that is doing a brilliant job the only other thing is to keep an eye on the water fill level but I think it's maintaining it itself actually because if you look on the inspector mod top left hand corner it says case IH Puma 160 fertilizer 99% so I, I find it hard to believe it's only used 1% but I don't know it doesn't really bother me it's good I don't really want to have to keep filling it up it's a bit of a faff really because I think you usually pump straight to the irrigator now if you're thinking you've missed this bit here well the solution to that is to actually pull it up the head, headland here you pull it up here do the same thing but only set it so that it only covers 90 degrees instead of going all the way back around then it will cover that area 
That's what I do. Well, that's doing a brilliant job. So we'll head down the other grass strip. Because obviously that's up there. But I'm happy. I'm really happy with that. Still a long way off. I think what we'll do is we'll get into the tractor, get the newspaper out and have a cup of tea. Ah, there we go. Right then, so... Many minutes have passed and we're getting much closer to the end. I speeded it by one more notch. I don't know if I should have done. It seems to be doing okay. Obviously, it overlaps over there anyway when we go up the other grass strip, so that's not a problem. Uh, and when I speeded it up earlier, I realized that these wheels actually went round. So these do go round. It's just not at lower speeds. So just something to uh, note down there. But it's almost worked its way back in again. It should feed itself right back in. Then we'll pick it up, put the legs up, and I'll actually move to the far end there. I probably won't well, walk through a hose. That felt weird. I probably won't actually record doing that end bit because it's not very interesting. Next time I record will be the other grass strip because it it's literally that. Pretty boring, really. And we've now used 4%, so the fertilizer level is going down. It is using it but it must just have a massive capacity. Nice uh, solar panel on the side there to run everything. Because I don't think you actually need to keep the tractor on there. We could drop that off. In fact, no you don't, because there's the hydraulic stand. Uh, so we could take it away if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. No point, really. It's almost home. It should turn itself off. There it goes. It's off. Caused a bit of lag, but pretty good, really. So what we can do now is we can reattach that by pressing uh, numpad 7. That actually came off course quite a long way. And we can lift it up. And I'll now go to that far end and we'll fertilize that bit. But next time you see anything will be when we're over there. So see you in a second. Okay then, so we've just done over there. You can see I've done it. And now we're gonna do our final strip, which is just over here. I don't know if it's gonna cover it all. Hopefully it will, but there's always a possibility it won't reach as far as the grass border over there. But we'll give it a go. So we've gotta get into position again. Getting the hang of it now. So about, well, I would like to go a bit further forwards, but it's just crushing the potatoes. So we'll put the stabilizers down. We will also lower the drag and we'll disconnect it as well so we can pick it up. And then back into the Massey Ferguson. And now I'm doing the same thing again, dragging it out this way. Once it's done, we'll go back, start it up, and it should fertilize the rest of the field. So it's a relatively easy job really in Farming Simulator. Uh, it's just a bit long-winded, but still really fun to do. Definitely gonna do this again in the future, probably on another map. The slowest thing is actually taking this up to the top of the field because we've got to go really slowly. And there we go. So we'll drop it there. We shall begin. Once again, that should be a fast enough speed. You can see how much we've actually unrolled the amount of pipe we've taken and it's not really much really, it's just the tip of the iceberg, there's so much on there. You could go for miles, probably not literally but there's an awful lot on there that you could take out. We've hardly taken any off actually. So that is now making its way back over 
and once we're done that'll be our field totally fertilized or irrigated it's actually covering a lot of the ground it's leaving I think about a meter on this side hardly anything I don't think we'll bother with it but everything else it's covering and also it is also overlapping in the middle which is exactly what I wanted so I think on the whole this has actually gone really well just love this mod if you want to download the mod the download link is below in the description along with the credits definitely worth trying out so here it is almost back as you can see it's covered most of the field just a tiny bit over there uh, but this is really going to put the productivity and the yield up on this field we should be able to get a fairly decent amount of money out of it which cost us a fortune to do with machinery and actually the potatoes themselves they were so expensive but I'm really hoping once it's all harvested we'll be, able to, we'll be able to make a really good profit so once that gets back to the end we will leave it there because that is everything I think that tractor is being pushed actually it is and we don't have a handbrake but here we go final little bit that's it covering to the edge and then it should stop probably about here let's just see it stop there we go so it's actually a really clever system it's just fantastic really like it uh, although it has missed that little bit there just because it stopped too early but we probably should have had it a bit slower but it did work in the end so thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode Please do download the mod as well, it's just brilliant. I think it's available from FSUK, um, but that could be an external link to another website. But anyway, it is available from there, so thank you for watching. Please do join me again next time, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.